Hey guys, I'm here to bring you what's new on the 430 update for the Power FT ECUs, ranging from the FT450 all the way up to the FT600. Some of the new features on this version are automatic transmission control, oscilloscope mode, and the bracket racing package, amongst many other improvements. In regards to the automatic transmission control, as we can see here on FT Manager, this is a generic automatic transmission control feature that allows you to control up to 10 solenoids. So we've tested this with the 4L60 transmission quite successfully. So if you have a diagram and you know how your transmission works, it, most surely you can use this feature to control it. In the future, we're going to make a video explaining in detail how you can set up your automatic transmission to work with your fuel tech. And for bracket racers, we're bringing out the launch delay control features. Um, as we can see here, you can have two different launch delays. Um, you can set up how your bump up, down, super bump delay buttons are going to work. Um, you can have a pre-launch cut that's going to hold your engine at a lower RPM usually before you, you hit the final RPM on your two-step. And you can put your dial and your opponent's dial here so the feature can use that and add it to the launch delay. A very useful tool on this version is the oscilloscope mode, which will help you diagnose issues with crank trigger and cam sync signals. And we're going to do a video in the future which will go in depth on how to use this feature. To make room for these changes and features that we're going to add in the future, the total memory slots have been changed from 5 to 4. If you're using the fifth slot as your active map, the software is going to back up all of your tunes and reallocate that fifth map into the fourth slot. Amongst the other improvements are wheelie control using the internal accelerometer, which is very helpful for bikes, a multifunction button that allows you to have staging, line lock, and scramble in the same button, a second boost activated output, progressive nitrous for launch control, and a new fuel and ignition cut for the gear shift output, as well as the integrated power shift function that you can find on the FT550 and FT600. This update is already available on our website. You can go and download it on the link down below, and I'll see you guys next time.